Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mary Grace Wallace with Family Tree Nuts. I am in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I'm standing in Lakeview Cemetery. Hey, I'm standing at the gravesite of Esther Hobart Morris. You're wondering who that is? She was the very first Justice of the Peace in the United States. Very cool. She was also a pioneer for women's suffrage and women's rights. Very awesome. She was born the 8th of August, 1814 in Spencer, New York. She died the 2nd of April in 1902. She was 87 years old. She died here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. How did she get here? Well, let me tell you a little bit about her. She was orphaned at 11 and she started out her life as a seamstress. She started her own millinery business, which is hat making for women. She married quite young, but she was widowed three years later and made her way out with her infant son to Illinois. When she was in Illinois, she married a merchant. When she was in Illinois, her husband and her, by that time she had three kids, her husband headed out here to the Wyoming territory and eventually her entire family followed out here. Let me tell you a little bit about Esther's ideas. She believed in women's rights. She was a forward thinker. She wanted gr to grant female teachers the same pay as male teachers. Sounds fair, right? This was in the early 1880s. She also wanted to grant women the right to vote in the Wyoming Territory. She wanted laws to give married women the right to their own property. So while doing all of this and trying to bring women's rights to the forefront in the Wyoming Territory, a district court judge appointed her the first Justice of the Peace. And the Sweetwater County Board of Commissioners voted her application in, and she became the first Justice of the Peace on February 14th, 1870. She served in that position for about nine months and she had 26 cases. Also during that time, she was a proprietor of women's suffrage. In 1872, she went to the San Francisco Convention of Women's Suffrage. In 1876, she actually addressed the National Women's Suffrage Convention in Philadelphia. In July of 1890 in Wyoming, she was actually able to hand the new state of Wyoming flag to the governor Warren, where she served as a suffrage pioneer. Esther, she's behind me actually resting here. She was a true, true suffrage pioneer. In 1960, sculptures of Esther were actually sculpted in Washington, D.C. in the Statutory Hall and in the Cheyenne State House. I'll show you her grave site here. It's just outside of Cheyenne, about two miles from the town center. This is Esther Morris here. She's buried alongside John Morris, and she is also buried alongside Robert Morris. And so this beautiful cemetery, Lakeview Cemetery in Cheyenne, Laramie County in Wyoming. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at FamilyTreeNuts.org.